you're not just walking straight today for no reason. How you walk today is how the children following you to, is going to walk tomorrow. Remember that. How you walk today, don't be surprised if you see your children walking the same way. How many professing, professing Christians have allowed sin to become so normal in their lives? And, and by allowing this way of living, in fact, what they're actually doing is training up the next generation how to sin and how to worship God at the same time. Something that was never acceptable or never should be accept, acceptable. And, and that's a picture of, of, of a Christian who has no conviction. They, they have lost all conviction. And that's what, that's what we, we, we are warned about here, about walking straight. Because the more we walk crooked, the more it becomes normal. There's two ways that man can walk. There's the way of the transgressor, which is a crooked path. And then there's the way of the righteous, which is the straight path. And we know the difference. And how often, church, things can come into our life that can send us off in a path that God didn't prepare for us to travel. And that's the work of the enemy. There'll be things that will come into your life that you will not expect. And they will hit you in such a way and they can quite easily send you in the other path. And that's what we need to be cautious of here. And that's what I believe God is saying to his church this morning. Look back in your life. Consider them paths. Consider what things has happened to you that has sent you perhaps in a path that God never asked you to walk down. And that's what I see there I want to bring to you. It's the spirit that, that searches our hearts. And it's him that looks into the, the, what's really going on in our hearts and within our minds. And, and we're forced with this great question in these days of, of so much prophecy being fulfilled around us. How is our walk with the Lord? Today. It's a wonderful question. It's a probing question. And it's a question if we answer honestly before God, it could change our lives for the glory of God and for the better. Is the Holy Spirit, for instance, leading you and guiding you in your steps? Is he keeping you in the straight path before God? Have you still got conviction? Or have you overrid conviction too many times in your life? Have you become like Balaam, perhaps, lost your way and lost your conviction? and you're set on a road of destruction. That's a dangerous place to be. And I believe we're not only here to highlight these things, but to help you back home if that is you this morning. And that's what we're meant to do as the people of God, you know. We're meant to help each other on in the faith and them straight paths of the godly. Amen. Amen, church. Too many people leave churches because they feel condemned when things don't work out for them. Nobody sets out in life to end up living a life that's broken. We all set out in life with great plans and with great ideas of what we're going to do and who we're going to be, and very rarely do they come to pass. More often than not, we will find ourselves living a life or, or experiencing something that we never, ever planned and experienced. And, and that's the importance of helping each other out. But I've made enough mistakes that I can help you when you make mistakes. And I trust that when I make mistakes, I will find the people who will help me in that moment. Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5, Therefore, brethren, encourage one another up and build each other up in the faith. And Christians, as the people of God, we must remember to help the people of God in their walk in these old paths of righteousness.